Christian News from English Christian Times. Pope Francis has decreed that St. Faustina's feast day be added to the Roman calendar as an optional memorial to be celebrated by all on October 5th. The Vatican Congregation for Divine Worship issued the decree May 18th, the 100th anniversary of the birth of St. John Paul II who canonized St. Faustina on April 13, 2000, making her the first saint of the new millennium. Pope Francis merges Alaskan dioceses to create Archdiocese of Anchorage June. Pope Francis merged two dioceses in Alaska Tuesday, creating the new Archdiocese of Anchorage June, which will cover a territory larger than Montana. The Pope appointed Bishop Andrew E. Belisario as the Metropolitan Archbishop of the newly formed Archdiocese in southern Alaska. Catholics in Japan fear for refugees, foreigners during coronavirus. The coronavirus pandemic is causing drops in charitable donations to Catholic organizations in Japan, especially affecting refugees and vulnerable foreigners, local media are reporting. Synapis, an aid group created by the Archdiocese of Osaka in 2002, had to shut its doors in April amid a sharp drop in donations, the Japan Times reported. The organization is still conducting phone consultations, the Times reports. Vatican to mark 5th anniversary of Laudato Si with year-long celebration. The Vatican will on May 24 launch a year-long celebration of Pope Francis' environmental encyclical Laudato Si to mark its 5th anniversary. The special Laudato Si anniversary year is an initiative of the Dicastery for promoting integral human development and will include a wide range of events, starting with a global day of prayer and ending in the launch of multi-year sustainability action plans. European Union Court rules against Hungary's detection of asylum seekers, including Christians. The European Court of Justice ruled Thursday that Budapest was obliged to reconsider asylum applications. The court stressed that Hungarian authorities circumvented European Union law by holding migrants seeking refuge in unlawful prison-like conditions, charges denied by the government. Contributions from the Catholic Church to Ethical Reflections in the Digital Era The Catholic Church is challenged by the scientific and technological innovation but can help to integrate multiple voices in ongoing dialogue regarding artificial intelligence and machine ethics. Two years after Surabaya bombings, radicalism still grows in Indonesia. On 13 May 2018, three churches in Surabaya, Indonesia were targeted by suicide bombers comprising a radicalized family of six. The attacks killed 13 and wounded 41. These are the first suicide bombings involving women and young children in Indonesia, demonstrating a new modus operandi. After two years, the question still lingers, why is it so easy to lure women and even children to become bombers? The government authorities, community and religious organizations agree that radicalization is the driver behind their actions. Now with Jesus, Christian apologist Revi Zacharias dies at 74. Revi Zacharias, the prominent Christian apologetics author and speaker, died Tuesday at the age of 74 following a battle with a rare form of cancer. Zacharias' daughter, Zara Davis, posted a message on website of Revi Zacharias International Ministries on Tuesday titled, Revi Zacharias, Now with Jesus, confirming that the apologist had passed away. Believers see coronavirus as a sign from God. Study More than 60% of American believers of all faiths feel that the novel coronavirus pandemic is a sign that God is telling humanity to change how it is living according to a new study. 31% of Americans who believe in God feel strongly that the virus is a sign of God telling humanity to change according to the study by the University of Chicago Divinity School and the Association Press NOR Center for Public Affairs Research. Pastor faces three years in jail for defying Myanmar's COVID-19 stay-at-home orders. A controversial Christian pastor and three others in Myanmar face three years in jail for organizing services in defiance of a ban on large gatherings in the Southeast Asian country due to COVID-19. Pastor David Lah 
who hold a Canadian passport and three others in Yangon City were charged under the 2013 Natural Disaster Management Law and Offence which is punishable by imprisonment for up to three years and possible fine, according to the US-based Christian Persecution Watchdog International Christian Concern. The good God does not need years to accomplish his work of love in a soul. One ray from his heart can, in an instant, make his follower bloom for eternity. St. Therese of Lisieux, News Desk, Christian Times.